Hi everyone, my name is Sarah. I'm an environmental educator with NYRP, and I'm excited to talk to you for Pollinator Week about creating your very own bug hotel. Now, what's a bug hotel? Well, many bees and pollinators alike use different natural materials to take shelter and lay their eggs. But in our cityscape, sometimes they can't find these materials. So creating our very own structure for them ensures that those fruits and vegetables that we love so much will continue to thrive. So let's go ahead and get started. The materials we're using today are soup can and milk carton. For the milk carton, I cut a doorway with an inch on the top and the bottom, half inch on the side, but you can also cut in strips, leaving space in between, kind of like shelving, and place your items in that way as well. There are many different ways you can create a buck hotel, but today we're going to be using materials you can find within your own home or kitchen. One version can be made out of an old milk carton, and another version can be made out of a soup can. Now both of these materials are pretty water resistant or waterproof, and that's because we want the materials inside to stay pretty dry for our pollinators and bugs. Now we're gonna talk about what materials to use next. Many pollinators and bees use hollow out stems and reeds to lay their eggs in different chambers. Now this plant material is made out of an invasive species called Japanese knotweed, which is everywhere in the city. And it's perfect for a bee to climb in and make those nests. Now, you'll know if a mason bee has used a material similar to this because they will lay their eggs and then seal the chamber with a layer of mud. Now you can bind these materials with some thread or string or twine and place them and cut them to your liking. Now, if you don't have these materials, that's okay. You can use pieces of rolled up paper as well. So some pollinators prefer wood as their nesting materials, and you can add these into your bug hotel as well. Now you wanna make sure that the wood that you're using is natural and it hasn't been treated because as they chew through it, we don't want them to get sick. Now the carpenter bee, as its name suggests, uses wood to chew through and make its own chambers. So you can place the wood inside of your hotel without drilling any holes. It'll chew through it itself. But if you would like to create your very own holes for these bees, you want them to be about one fourth inch wide and about five to six inches deep. To fill space and make your bug hotel more dynamic, you can also use hollowed out toilet paper rolls and fill them with the materials that you would prefer. So these are filled with little stems and sticks. You can also fill them with pieces of leaves, dry grasses, moss, and pine cones. These will all encourage different types of pollinators to come take shelter or lay their eggs. So you can go ahead and start assembling and this is the fun creative part. You can see what shapes fit where in your structure. And as you're adding in your materials, um, they don't have to be so close together. They can have little gaps in between. This encourages airflow and deters any mold that might form. You can start assembling your soup can version in a similar way. And if you like, you can design it so it is encouraging specific pollinators or bees to come visit. So this one I'm using wood and hollowed out stems and some corrugated cardboard wrapped up to encourage the carpenter bees and the mason bees. So once you're happy with the design and look of your bug hotel, you could add a finishing touch and loop some string through a hole at the top of your milk carton and hang it from a tree branch or from your balcony. And you can do the same thing with your soup can, looping the twine a couple times so it can hang. Now to find the perfect place to hang your bug hotel. You want it to be sun facing in a dry area or underneath an awning. If you're near a garden, it would be beneficial to place it next to pollinator friendly plants. Here we're going to hang it on a branch about three to five feet off the ground and monitor who comes to visit. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you create your very own bug hotel and we would love to see any designs you come up with. So tag us at NYRP. Continue to go out into our open spaces see what kind of pollinators are buzzing around. We would love to know about it. Until then, take care.